Hey everybody, in my uh, continuing uh, search, hobby, if you will, for smart home control stuff, I uh, recently started checking out this company. I've been seeing them around on Amazon a lot and on eBay, and uh, I actually have one of their power strips with the uh, USB that you can turn the power on to the USB you know, through the uh, Echo or the Home or your phone or, you know, any numerous ways. So I thought I'd give their uh, outlets a try. In the past, I've uh, used quite a few different ones. I have these. I think Amyson was the brand, A-M-Y-S-E-N. Uh, and then the, of course, the uh, good old, the ones that kind of started it all for me, the E-Tech City. I still really like these. I still use a few of them throughout the house. Uh, I haven't had any problems with them in the couple of years I've had them, so it says something good for E-Tech City. Uh, they're all, you know, basically the same thing. They're all ESP8266 based, and then run that uh, TUYA company software. So these, I imagine, will be very similar to these. So that's what we'll see. Uh, packaging's nice. Uh, they all use that Smart Life app, which is a good app. I like that so far. Let's see, they're good up to 10 amps, yeah, 1200 watt. And I think these are same 10 amp. And I think this is also, this one's 8 amp resistive. So these actually may be more uh, honest about their ratings. Uh, I wouldn't run 10 amps through any of these. So let's see what the packaging is like. Let's see, there's a circle on the bottom. Uh, it's probably just a punch, you know, knockout from a hole inside. All right, so that's all off now. Let's open the lid. Sure enough, there we go, four outlets and a manual. And uh, they're, they're different. They're similar, but different. They're the same, just about the same size. They both have a button on the, ooh, I like that though. They have the light inside the button. When I use these in my house, I put a piece of tape over the LEDs so I don't have to deal with the LEDs glowing everywhere. So having it on the side, that's, that's kind of nice actually. I might not have to put tape on them. Yeah, we'll see. So this is the uh, SP10 model. Here's the instructions. The uh, easy mode is what I use usually. AP mode works too. It's just a little more, you know, you have to kind of know what you're doing a little more. Uh, it's a Google O oh, for doing the, uh, getting everything linked. There you go. So, essentially, you plug it in, you start up the Smart Life app, <coughs> pardon me, and then you uh, you hold in the button for, oh, I forget, 10 seconds until it flashes fast. Long press, roughly five seconds, and then you get blink, 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 and then you pair it. So, that's cool. Now, what I wanted to do and I, I hate that this will probably not be usable after that, but I really want to see inside because I took apart a different brand. So I should probably take apart this brand. Now the other one, they were welded. Yeah, this one probably is too. They're like thermally welded. That's a, a plug that goes in, you know, and then they glue it or thermally weld it there. That's just a decoration. 
let me see if I can. Oh, maybe. So I'd really like to not ruin it. I mean, truth be told, I really only need two of these. But it was more cost effective to buy a four pack. I'm going to pause the camera real quick. I'll get this open and then I'll be back. Okay, so it's almost open. I was able to pop this seal enough. You can see what I did. I just kind of worked my way around. And it looks like it was very light glue. There's a small gap between the bottom and the board, as you can see. So if I respect that gap, I should be able to pop that last bit. Yep, like that. There we go. Let's see. I should be able to reuse that, you know, clean it up a little, but there we go. There's the inside. Very nice. Very, very nice. This is almost identical to um, to these, although the layout on this one's nicer. There's the button for the side. Oh, pardon me. I mean to bump the camera. There's the uh, pairing and mode button. There's the ESP chip. You can see it right there. ESP8266 EX. And then the EEPROM. Here's the fuse, 10 amp fuse. So yeah, you don't want to run right at 10 amps. You want to run like eight amps, kind of like the other one says. Then a Sanyu relay and another fuse. Now I don't know if it's a 10 ohm, one watt, so I guess that's probably power going to the power supply for the uh, for the 8266 because there's some filtering over here. Let's see, what do we have? A 400 volt, 400 volt, 16 volt, oops, yeah, 400 volt, 400 volt, 16 volt right here. And I also see a regulator right there. So let's see, hot is, yeah, looks like hot is going through the fuse. Now this is the fuse for the relay, not for the coil of the relay, but for the power going through the relay. This should be the fuse for the electronics. Because it looks like there's a, yeah, there's an MOV, an inductor, I'm assuming the yeah, L2, that's an inductor. So it looks like they're bringing it DC pretty quick, AC to DC. And then after it goes through all that, we got another diode and then an inductor. There's probably a power control chip. Yeah, you can see that right there. That's probably, a, you know, a, a smart MOSFET maybe. It uses that coil and does the uh, buck converter to feed this regulator here. And that is an AM... S11173.3 makes sense, so it's making 3.3 volts to that. I like the design of this. The uh, heavy, probably copper plated, I'm guessing, but heavy gauge. Like, that's, that's tight. And 
And we could, you know, there's really no reason to unsolder all that. There's not much else to see. You'll see the pins going through for the ESP board that, you know, drive the LED and all that. And then there'll be a, something that goes over to drive the uh, relay coil. It's probably that transistor right there. And then that's, that diode there is probably the uh, protection diode for everything. So that's pretty good. I, uh, I like this. Price was right. Design is good. Uh, I will put a link in the bottom to another video where the other one that I took apart so you can compare them if you want. But uh, definitely recommend these. I like the form factor. I like how the uh, LED is not in the front so it's easier to put tape over so you don't have to see it at night. Um, I, like, uh, I like a lot about it. Good protection on it. You know, it's uh, not bad. So yeah, uh, if you have any questions or comments, you know where to where to type them. And uh, if you want to get one of these yourself, I'll put a uh, link in the description. Again, it's not an affiliate link. Uh, I get nothing for this, so you know, just wanted to share it with you in my continuing, uh, you know, process of looking for useful smart home items. So, as always, thank you for watching. Oh, and in case you're interested, I am putting this back together. I'm using my hot air iron set at about 230C to uh, warm that plastic up. And most of the time it pulls right back in. And I just give it a little push with the uh, screwdriver. And uh, it won't be perfect. It won't look like it's brand new. But I'm sure you agree that it looks much better than it did. You can kind of see that one's almost going back on its own. So yeah, that's, uh, I like that. Again, not perfect. There's a new one, and then there's the one that I chewed up, but, you know, it's fine. That'll, uh, that'll work, no problem. I even kind of got the, the plastic stuck again. So, thank you for watching.